I mean, this waffle is gonna be incredible, babe. And we got fresh whipped cream. Baked Ooh, baked eggs right there. I think this is a cornmeal waffle, actually. Santa Fe omelet. We got some complimentary streusel bread. Wow, here we are, baby. First Santa Fe breakfast. At the beautiful bride here exploring Santa Fe. Yes. Gosh, it is another bright, sunny, beautiful day here. It is actually a sunny Sunday. Today we are gonna kind of what do a little bit of museum hopping, babe. Yeah. The first one we're going to right now is the Santa Fe Museum of Art, right? The New Mexico Museum of Art. Oh, New Mexico Museum of Art. Awesome. Wow, so this is actually like the entire states. Museum, yep, so sense? Santa Fe is the capital of New Mexico. Thank goodness, because Albuquerque is super hard to spell. True. <laughs> Good point, babe. <laughs> this right here is the George O'Keefe Museum, guys. But um, getting tickets to this place is harder than getting into the hottest club, a.k.a. the Roxbury. <laughs> it's absolutely... Uh, you got to, like, get reservations way in advance and kind of just, uh, you know, plan ahead months, months or so. But uh, we might get a cancellation. Who knows? Yeah, we put our name on the list. Probably unlikely, but um, we'll see. We were bummed about it yesterday, but turns out that there are tons of art museums in Santa Fe, history museums. Um, so we're gonna get do a little smattering and just see how it goes. This is a completely new place for us. And like right off the bat, as we were driving in, it is a place like no other. The architecture is, well, it's really homogenous. It's a lot of like Pueblo architecture, as you can see. Um, and everything is very low. There aren't a lot of tall buildings. So it's kind of an interesting capital city. I agree. Yeah. Totally. Also, almost got to say, it's like a blend of like uh, Savannah, Georgia or like Asheville, North Carolina. If you were to take that charm and historic quality and then drop it in a New Mexico kind of Southwest Mexican influence background. Yeah. Um, it's, it's got that, um, you know small quaint historic nature to it but is it a totally different feel oh we're coming up to one of my favorite parts the gallery walk actually doesn't get too gallery here yet but it starts to turn into that hard to believe this place was absolutely packed last night i mean cars just you know backed up on the roads here everyone was cruising last night a lot of parties weddings um, seems like this is definitely a, a hop in town for nightlife. Yeah, and a lot of tourists. So it's definitely a touristy place. Yes. Seems like a lot of older tourists. Mm -hmm. um, so. Santa Fe is definitely a little bit of a pricey place to be. Yes, this is not a cheap vacation spot. Yes. Here we are, guys, at the New Mexico Museum of Art. Beautiful architecture. It's a pretty relatively affordable museum to attend. Uh, not a giant museum, but we think we can uh, get through here in about uh, two hours or so. So we're about to get in there and check it out for ourselves. All right.
Here we have the oldest house in the United States of America, babe. And it sits right next to the oldest chapel in the United States. Wow, what an incredible pairing. Two of the oldest buildings right side by side. You can even, you can tell how much older they are because the doors are so much smaller. Yeah, I mean, you're, I mean, you're tall for a lady, but you even have a hard time walking in here, babe. I know. And gosh, and you're what, 5'7"? Five, 5'7", seven? Five, seven almost. Wow. So it goes to show you, these um, folks were a little smaller back then. Oh, yeah. And important to note that obviously this is not the oldest house probably not the oldest house in the u.s no i'm sure there are i mean if you consider some of the indigenous dwellings that are much older yes this is the first european house that, or that is still standing today probably gotcha yeah gotcha so the the devil's in the details of the name really <laughs> yeah wow we got these wooden windows but look how the and there wouldn't have been glass obviously in the original the, one the stucco has straw in it yeah straw in it little rocks and charcoal yeah. it's uh almost literally built out of the ground mud yeah. um it keeps all that original texture to it as well and here you got some of those signature santa fe trademarks like the uh, hanging chilies and the uh, beams coming outside of the walls Love that blue color. Well, we're about to check in our Airbnb. <laughs> wow, so originally it housed 12 families in just a two story uh, layout. In 1881. In 1881, it was modified, true. We are inside of the house, y'all. And it's feeling pretty homey.
No, he said no. Oh, man. Are y'all closed? Oh, man. Bummer. Okay. Uh, that's okay. We're visiting from out of town. We thought we'd check it out. Yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. Oh, man. Bummer, babe. Oh, at least we got to saw see it, I guess. Oh! oh man, that's such a bummer. <sighs> I'm so Pretty awesome. We literally were kicked out of Los Pollos Hermanos because they're filming what we believe is the new season of Better Call Saul. Yeah and we have to stay quiet because we're not supposed to be filming but yeah they told us they couldn't tell us what they're filming but he did say they're filming tomorrow and they changed the sign from twisters to los pollos hermanos so you know you know it's better call Saul because otherwise <laughs> thanks buddy oh <laughs> uh, we gotta oh my god look find... the inside's open too they're changing all the signs on the inside y'all this is Yo, dope this is kind of cool i'm really bummed that we were we were gonna get a breakfast burrito literally 6 a.m we're here at 9.05, so not too early in the morning, but we were gonna get a breakfast burrito and enjoy some Los Pollos Hermanos, but, oh my gosh, you're See, taking out all taking the ads. See, they're taking the Twister stuff. And, wow. they are, wow. I mean, oh. that's, that's movie magic, y'all. That is movie magic.